One quick thing I forgot to mention actually is it's not too hard to extend the math that we just did to work on a triangle. So if I want to know if a ray intersects a triangle specified by three points, then actually all I have to do is actually apply this exact equation. So what that means is I'm going to have to compute the normal of the triangle, which I know how to do. I can just take B minus A and cross that with C minus A. Um, so there we go, B minus A, and then here's C minus A. And that will give me the normal, right? Um, and then we can just use this equation over here, and we can use, so we got our normal, we can use the A as the A on the triangle. Actually, any of the points on the triangle will work. Um, what that will give us is the intersection with the plane that contains this triangle. So let's think if, you know, we could have a ray that looks like this. And maybe the ray does intersect the plane here. And so we'll get, we'll get a valid solution to the equation. But the issue is this point is actually outside the triangle. Whereas if it went a slightly different direction, it may actually hit it straight inside the triangle. So there's just one more step we have to do, which is, okay, well, step one really is compute triangle normal. Step two is apply plane intersection. Step three is make sure that intersection point is within the triangle. And you can do this just by using the barycentric coordinates, right? So look at the barycentric coordinates of this intersection point P, right? And if they sum to one or less than one plus epsilon, then you're actually inside the triangle. If they don't, then you're outside the triangle. Okay, so I just wanted to mention that because you'll have to do that in this assignment. And in general, if we know how to intersect a ray with a triangle, we can intersect a ray with any triangle mesh. So any surface that you want to make. Okay.